The sun was just beginning to peak over the horizon as David navigated his way through the bustling streets of Accra, Ghana. He stole a glance at his wife, Essie, who sat in the passenger seat beside him, her dark eyes fixed on the passing scenery. Despite the early hour, Essie looked radiant, her beauty accentuated by the soft morning light. As they approached a busy bus stop, Essie's gaze suddenly sharpened, and David felt her tense beside him. Following her line of sight, he saw a figure standing on the opposite side of the street. The man was dishevelled, his clothes tattered, and his face worn with hardship. David recognised him immediately, a former classmate from their university days at the University of Legon. Curiosity peaked, David observed as the man drew closer to their car, a smile flickering across his weathered features. Aesi's reaction was palpable, a mixture of recognition and discomfort evident in her expression. When the man called out her name, David's curiosity turned to concern. Who is he? David asked, his voice tinged with curiosity. Essie hesitated, her gaze flickering away from the man outside. Just someone I used to know, she replied, her tone guarded, but David wasn't convinced. He watched as the man continued to follow their car his persistence unnerving. Despite David's attempts to shake him off, the man kept pace, his presence a lingering reminder of a past Isi seemed reluctant to discuss. As they finally managed to speed away from the man, Essie remained silent, her thoughts seemingly a million miles away. David couldn't shake the feeling of unease that settled over him, a nagging suspicion that there was more to the encounter than Essie was letting on. Months passed, and yet, the memory of the encounter lingered in David's mind like a shadow. He noticed subtle changes in Essie, moments of distraction and distant gazes that hinted at a hidden turmoil. But when he broached the subject, she brushed off his concerns with a smile, assuring him that everything was fine. Then, one day, everything changed. It was a warm September morning when Essie spotted the man once again, this time amidst the chaotic flow of traffic. Without hesitation, she pulled over to the side of the road, her actions surprising David. Before he could protest, Isi was out of the car, her steps purposeful as she approached the man. In the days that followed, Isi's interactions with the man became more frequent, her compassion evident in her gestures of kindness. She brought him food, clothing, and even arranged for medical care, all without David's knowledge. But as Essie's involvement with the man deepened, so too did the secrets she kept from David. The truth of their past relationship weighed heavily on her conscience, a burden she carried alone as she grappled with conflicting emotions. Then, on a fateful February evening, Essie's world was turned upside down once again. A chance encounter with the man led to a moment of vulnerability, a lapse in judgment that left her shaken to the core. In the aftermath of their encounter, Essie was left grappling with the consequences of her actions, her sense of guilt compounded by the possibility of pregnancy. As Essie wrestled with her conflicting emotions, David remained oblivious to the turmoil brewing beneath the surface. He reveled in the joy of their impending parenthood, his love for Essie unwavering in the face of uncertainty. But as the truth threatened to unravel their carefully constructed façade, Essie found herself torn between the past and the present, between loyalty and desire. In the end, it would be her choice alone to make, a decision that would shape the course of their lives forever.